Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration, Wednesday, January 31st, 2024. May the God of peace be with you today and may his face shine upon you as you go throughout the day. Our reading today comes to us from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, reading verse 14 to 23. And it says, Now we exalt you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient towards all men. Verse 15, See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. Verse 18 says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the spirit. Despise not prophesying. 21. Prove all things. Hold fast to that which is good. 22. Abstain from all appearance of evil. 23 and last says, And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I say, Amen. Now here the servant of the Lord is encouraging us or admonishing us that we must warn those who are unruly so those who are doing things that they are not supposed to do we need to warn them and we need to remind them that god is not pleased with their actions or with whatever it is that they are doing but we need to do it in a kind way it states that we should comfort those who are feeble-minded we need to show support to the weak we need to be strong for them we need to share our strength with them and help them pray for strength from God. So instead of tearing down further, we need to build up. Amen. So we need not to beat down on these folks, but we need to guide them and show them the path that Christ wants them to walk. And we need to learn to be patient. We need to keep in mind that people don't change overnight, at least not in all cases. Maybe there are times when, you know, a person may be able to stop doing something abruptly, but there are other times when it's a process. And so you have to continue, continually give guidance and remind that person that you are there for support. Amen. Now we are encouraged not to render evil for evil. And so many of us subscribe to that. But that's not the right attitude. I know sometimes people hurt us in ways that we can't even fathom. And sometimes we are tempted to hurt them back even worse than they have hurt us. But I encourage us that we need to learn forgiveness. We need to learn to be more forgiving. Do what Jesus do. Turn the other cheek if you need to. Walk righteous so that at the end of the day you are blameless. And I am not saying that you shouldn't stand up for yourselves, but keep in mind that you are representing God and not yourself. So whatever you do, how you choose to, to respond to whatever people do to you will be a reflection on your life as a Christian and ultimately God. And God don't subscribe to those kind of behavior. So why show the world a false presentation of his character? We need to rejoice. We need to be happier. I know we live in a world of pain and sorrow and all of that. But there is still moments of joy and happiness. And we need to appreciate those moments. Stop walking around every day like the whole world is on your shoulder and your shoulder alone. And so it is so heavy. So you have no time to experience the little beauties that exists. You have no time to stop and smell the roses to enjoy your life. Christians should be happy people because we serve a God that is alive and a God that care about us and love us. And in his presence, there is fullness of joy. So we need to be happy or be more happy. We are also encouraged that we should pray without ceasing. 
what does it mean to pray without ceasing? It means that our life should be a life of constant prayer. Prayer is what will help us to navigate the challenges of life. It unlocks heaven harmony at our disposal and give us strength to endure. A life of prayer is very important and very crucial for a Christian to establish or to have. We are also encouraged that we should be more thankful. God has proven himself time and time again that he will take care of us. His promises are sure. He said in his word that he will always be there to provide. And so all we need to do is to trust him. God will take care of you. God is able to take care of you. He promised that He will provide your daily needs according to His riches in glory. And so you and I have nothing to worry about. We just need to be more thankful. Whether we have little or we have much, God has kept His end of the bargain by providing for our needs. What we don't have, maybe the Lord is saying that is not necessary or maybe he's saying when the time is right we will get it so let us not be ungrateful friends god is too good to us to treat him like that there's always something to give god thanks for and if you think that you can't find anything to give god thanks for give god thanks for your life for keeping you alive the dead can't praise god and so the fact that you're alive is a blessing within itself and so let us be mindful of that and so be encouraged be strengthened be faithful god has not left you do not make the spirit have to leave you quench not the spirit listen to the voice of the spirit when the spirit is speaking to you don't ignore the voice of the spirit and and, and this one is very important the bible tells us that we we should not turn away our ears from hearing prophecy I know some of us are skeptical when it comes on to prophecy, but we should not shy away from hearing what the Lord has to say to us. Prophecy is one way in which the Lord communicates future events to us. Do not ignore what you read in the Word of God. Do not frown on it. Do not turn a blind eye to it. Because it will help you as you navigate the crevices of this life to walk circumspect and to keep your eye on the prize not allowing yourself to be distracted because you are in the know you know the truth and therefore you can help to bring others into the ban of christ so that we all can make it to the kingdom it says that we should abstain from evil the bible states that men love darkness because their deeds are evil so let us walk out of darkness into his light stay away from evil practices stay away from sin ask the lord to help us where we are weak so that we don't have to keep making the same mistakes over and over so that we don't have to keep disappointing him and letting him down everything that we do will come back to either haunt us or to be a blessing when all is said and done the scripture tells us that what God will bring everything into judgment, whether it be good or evil. And if your deeds are evil and they weren't confessed, then you won't make it to heaven. But if they are confessed, then you have nothing to worry about because the righteousness of Christ covers you and me. And so let us try our utmost best with the guidance of the Holy Spirit and the wisdom of the Holy Spirit to walk blameless as we continue to look forward to the second returning of our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you friends and have a wonderful day. Amen.